YouTube, this coach Raw here. You know my Kingdom Relationship Coach. How y'all doing? If you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Raw. I am a Kingdom Relationship Coach. You know, what I do is I teach relationship from me, Kingdom perspective. You know, Kingdom means God's way of doing things. Kingdom means God's way of doing things. Um, I teach relationship from a godly perspective. Um, I use biblical principles. So there's something that you interested in. Um, Hit the subscribe button and also um, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload content. Um, I want to talk about, you know, men got it made in the shade. Men got it made in the shade. And, you know, a lot of times people say, well, you know, why you don't talk to the men? Why you don't dress the men? And the way I look at it in society, men ain't got to worry about nothing. Because we, we, live, we live in a society where we got a world full of broken women. And as long as we got a world full of broken women, the men going to always be doing what they're doing to women. Because what y'all got to realize, it's already in a man. A man know how to treat a woman. It's automatic in men how to treat women. But men choose to treat women wrong because they know that women are broken. They take advantage of, of, of women because they know they're broken. But they know deep down inside how to treat a woman. It's already in a man how to treat a woman. You know, I remember when I was in kindergarten. When I was in kindergarten, it was a beautiful young girl in my kindergarten class that I had a crush on. I knew how to treat her. I knew to be nice to her. I knew to help her on, the, on, the, on monkey bars and I, I didn't never push her down or uh, 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 cursed her out or did anything talking to her, even as a kindergarten. Because you know why? It's automatic inside a male how to treat a female. But see, we got so many broken women. Men choose not to not to treat women right because they toxic and they know I can treat a woman how I want to be treated, how, how I want to treat her. And I still get banana pudding. And that's the thing. You know, men get rewarded for bad behavior. Women are reinforcing a man's bad behavior. You know, and like I do with it, society. Society have programmed women. The men, women think that, you know, you, you might well share a man because all men cheat. Out of all the men in the world, they don't believe that there's, there's faithful men out here. So society is telling women, you know, share a man. And you got a lot of women are bound into that. So if I was an ungodly man, right, if I didn't have no morals, if I was a man and I was ungodly, if I was a grown boy, why would I get married and settle down with one woman and I got women around here talking about they'll share men? They don't mind sharing men. I can have three women on rotation and they all good with that, why would I settle down and marry one woman? Why? I'm not a god friend man, I'm a toxic grown boy. But I can have three women, and, and guess what? And they all agree, they all in agreement with that? The men got it made in the shade. And see, this is why I dress mainly women, because women are broken, man. Women are broken. As long as we keep, as long as we have a society full of broken women, a lot of women ain't gonna, ain't gonna get married. If majority of women had this mindset, I'd rather die alone before I share a man. I'd rather die single before I share a man. I'm not sharing a man. If more women had that mindset, men won't be the way they are. Men won't be the way they are. But as long as a man know that I can have three women on rotation and they all good with that, Man, that's a man, that's, that's a grown boy dream. Because you got to realize, men have been taught, the more women you get on your back, the more you are a man. That's manhood. And I said this before. Banana pudding strokes a man's ego. The more you get a man in your body, the more you stroke his ego. The more you think that he a man because he was taught that way. So this man, if a man got three women willing to share him, oh man, I'm a man. 
I'm a man. So why would he sit down and get one woman? And I need y'all to share this. I need y'all to give it a thumbs up and share this video on your Facebook page. Share it on different platforms so I can reach women and tell women don't fall for the foolishness that's been going on in society. Tell women you don't have to share a man because one clown on YouTube is telling you because you're 35 years old, you got to share a man. Because you lose your sexual value and all that kind of stuff. You're not, you're not, you're not sexual value, value no more. And then you got women are buying to this crap. See you know what I'm saying? And then which I gotta realize, as long as women okay with that, guess what? Men ain't gonna get. Right. Men, what? What? What can I tell a man? I can tell a man, hey, start doing that to women. Be faithful to women. Be loyal to women. Do this and that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Get what? If, if, if they see a woman gonna let them be on, let them cheat on them. Get what? They they gonna be like, man, forget that. And two women start holding men accountable. Two women start knowing their worth and their value, knowing what they deserve, knowing that God created you for a man to adore you. God created you for a man to honor you. Understand that you a man faithful. God created a woman for a man to love. That's why he say love your wife as Christ loved the church. What kind of love that Christ had for the church? A sacrificial love. Christ loved the church so much that he sacrificed his life for the church. And that's how a man supposed to be treating you as a woman. To be willing to make a sacrifice for you. It's a darn shame that a man could be broke with no job. And a woman would take that man in, move that man in her house, get that man banana pudding, feed that man, cook for that man, get him a job, fix his lunch for him to go to work, and that same man would turn around and get that woman his behind the kiss and go marry somebody else within six months and take care of that woman. I could be a man just not getting out of prison. Oh, I could be a man in prison. And a woman would sit right there and date me while I'm in prison. Put money in my books. And talk to me on the phone while I'm bored. Put money in my books and everything. Send me money. Then when I get out, I can go to her house, live with her. Strike up with her. I ain't married to her. I ain't got to marry her. I ain't got to marry her. I just go to her house, live in her house. Sleep with her. Get her food, get her money, and just live off her. And then when she get tired of me and kick me out, then I go find the next woman. Then I adore her and marry her and treat her like a queen. This is what men doing. This is what women are allowing. Women are dating men in prison. And y'all wonder why I don't talk to men? Because men got it made in the shade. They got it made in the shade. They could be a jailbird, a prisoner, and still get a good woman. It's much easier for a man to get a girlfriend woman than a woman to get a girlfriend man. Way much easier. But you know why a lot of men complain about they can't get a girlfriend woman? Because they're not girlfriend. They're not girlfriend. This is what men don't understand. You can't attract what you are not. How can you attract a girlfriend woman and you're not a girlfriend man? They want to live in sin. They want to live in fornication. They want to, they want to do wrong. See what I'm saying? The majority of men... Don't want to wait till they get married to get a woman on their back. But they complain about ain't no girlfriend women out here. They want a woman to have a nice body and look fine for them, but yet it's still they let themselves go and they and, and, and they stomach hanging over their arm over their helmet. They got man boobs and they complain about oh I, I I want a girlfriend woman and they and they want a nice fine attractive woman. And that's why I say it go both ways. Yeah, I know men visual. I know men more visual than women. But I know women visual visual as well. And I understand. See, some women don't understand it right here. But I know I'm a man. I know when a man real big like that right there, 
He ain't got no, uh, he, he ain't gonna do too much in the bedroom. Big stomach, man boobs. That, that, in the bedroom, he gonna, but he want a good woman though. He want a girlfriend woman. He, he want a fine woman. He, he want a beautiful woman that keep herself looking good. That exercise, that's in the gym, eating right, being healthy, but he not being healthy. Don't keep the hair cut, walk around with stink, bro. I get complaints about women and coaching. Coach Rod, I just want a man that does have hygiene, Coach Rod. I be going on date with these men. They real be stank. They be smelling musky. But you want her to smell good, though. You want, your, you want her to have fresh breath. You got to understand, you look at a woman, not all women, but the average woman, her teeth white, face, face pretty. Because a lot of women, they take care of themselves. They put their teeth. They make sure their face is scraped. They put all that in their self. And then men want to do the bare minimum and complain about you want a good woman. You want a good looking woman. You want a girlfriend woman. But you ain't doing no work on yourself. That's why men can't get a girlfriend woman because men don't work on themselves. They don't want to do the work. But if men would do the work on themselves, it would be easy for a man to get a girlfriend woman. That's why, that why I don't sit here and, and, and tell women, like, uh, uh, that's why I don't sit here and, and, you know, and, and tell men this, tell men that, tell men they right here. Because they ain't gonna listen. No, you got women taking a man in that broke. I tell women this all the time. Do not date a man who broke, who ain't got no job. Again, he ain't gotta be rich. He ain't gotta be making six figures. He ain't got to be, you know what I'm saying, have everything together. But he got to at least have a job, character, and working towards some things. He got a vision, and got ambition, and got a grind. When you meet this man, he should be grinding. Then you, you can get with that man, connect. Your favor going to help this man accomplish those things. Your favor going to help this man accomplish six figures. You know what I'm saying? But long he got character though. But majority of women will get with a man who ain't got no character, who ain't got no morals. Don't love them. All you want to do is just use them for their money, for their body. And women hold these men down. And when these men get tired of them, they go find somebody else and marry. Then they go take care of her. And I see this all the time in coaching. I'm a coach. I know what's going on in coaching. So men got to make it in the shade. It's much easier for a man to get a girlfriend woman than a, than a, than, than a woman to get a girlfriend man. Very much easier. But a lot of men can't attract a girlfriend woman because they're not a girlfriend man. A lot of men want a beautiful woman with a nice body, nice shape, but look at their body. They don't want to exercise right. They don't want to keep themselves looking good. But they want a woman that, that, that look good. They want a woman that take pride in her look, her body, and smell good, take care of herself, and they want to get a woman the same thing. That's the main problem with men. So the only woman that a lot of men can attract is low value women, low value women, ghetto women, hood rat women, and then they get these women and they get pregnant and get these women pregnant. Now they got baby mama drama. Now they mad at all women. No, now all women is right here. You know what I'm saying? Then now they go follow these clowns on, on YouTube, these men who like men who bash women on YouTube. I'm going to keep saying it. Like I always say, any man who on YouTube bashing women, he like men. And you got a lot of men in this, in, in this generation, in this time and era, they look normal like me. They look heterosexual like me, but they like men. They like men. I, 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 and I'm trying to tell you what I know. Every man that's on YouTube that don't want to get married, the saying women are not no good, women, women don't have no value, if they reach a certain age, if they got children, they ain't no good. Those type of men, they like men. They like men. They like men. They don't like women. Because they hurt by a woman. Because they choose a woman that was attractive, but they had no character and had no morals. And that woman dogged them out and emasculated them and ran them in the mud. Now they build again women. 
Now they go follow these channels and sit there and put down women. And that's why I tell y'all, anybody who watch any one of these men, and you dating a man, you talk to a man on the phone, you find out he watching a high value man. Cause why? Number one, he like men. Any man who watch a high value man, they like men. They like men. Number two, they full of toxic behavior. And they might be a narc. Cause that man, the high value man is a narc. He got a narcissist spirit upon him. And you got women buying into this foolishness, willing to share a man. As a man, ain't gotta worry about sharing no women. Cause how many women gonna, gonna have, have three men on rotation? Not that many. Is it possible? Yeah. But not a lot. It's very, very rare that a woman, a lot of women gonna have three men on rotation. Men got to made it in the shade, but you got women will sit right there and agree with sharing a man. Why would man get do right? Why would man get married? They ain't got to. They ain't got to. And men ain't got to get married to get banana pudding. To get your body. He ain't got to get married to get that. All you got to do is come in your life and lie to you and play game with you. Half of y'all, not all women, but Play game with these women, they have what? He get banana pudding. And then when he cheat, get what? They get, he, he, he get he get a pass. When he cheat, they call their friend, girl. Guess what, girl? What what happened, girl? Girl, Roger cheated on me, girl. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking about just leaving him, girl, because I don't tolerate cheating, girl. Girl, don't leave that man, girl. Yeah. Yeah, girl, a man gonna cheat, girl. Man not made to be monogamy, girl. That man don't mean nothing about that girl. Come on, that man love you. He don't love the other girl he cheating with. Girl, don't he, girl, he paying your bills? Yeah. Great girl, girl, share him. Don't you get your bills paid? That's the advice they get when they get cheated on. So get what? They take the man back for cheating on them. And all it when you do that right there, you reinforcing cheating. You let him know that it's okay to cheat and I ain't going nowhere. Instead of them reaching out and getting professional help from a coach, they call you this thing and tell a friend. And stay and tell a friend telling them, girl, take that man back. Oh, girl, give a man another chance. Oh, girl, men are not made to be monogamous. You can't leave a man over every little mistake he makes. So, women take a man back. And guess what? He gonna do the same thing again because guess what? You rewarding bad behavior. You in reinforcing cheating. And whatever you reinforce, it strengthens. It grows. Instead of holding men accountable, what I mean by that right there. And I said this the other day, the other night, you know, I want a strong woman. Now I'm a king of man, but I'm not perfect. Just say if I get stupid. And I'm, 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 I'm courting a woman, and I say, hey, let me spend that at okay tonight. I'm going to spend the night with you. If a woman would say, a whole man kind of would say, hey, listen, you're not spending the night with me. Why? I love you. Yeah, I love you too, but get what? You're not my husband. You're not my husband. Are we married yet? No, not yet. Okay. Ain't your name Coach Rod? Yeah. Don't you be on YouTube talking about asking it? Yeah. Okay, you're going to live what you preaching. I'm not going to let you fall, Coach Rod. That's what I mean by holding a man accountable. You ain't cussing the man out. You ain't got an attitude with that man. You just let that man know we ain't doing it right here. Because a lot of men, most men going to try you. They going to try you. You got the power over there right there. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Accountability. Not nah. let me come to your place. Okay, come on over. Come on to your place. Kiss all on your neck, rub it all on your body. You know my name, Coach Rod. You know I'm a I'm an influencer. You know I got a YouTube channel. And, and influencing women to be asking it, keep your leg closed, but yet still you'll let me fall with you. 
Because you ain't strong enough to say, you know what? You just, I'm going to hold you accountable, Coach Rod. Because most women, they don't want to lose a man. They get a man, and they don't want to lose a man, so they're afraid to hold that man accountable. You might well lose him because you're going to lose him anyway. You might well lose him in the beginning when y'all first meet. You might well lose him when he try to get you on your back because you're going to lose him anyway. Why waste time with a man and lose a man five years later, seven years later, and you have been on your back giving a man your body, and then now you lost him seven years later, wasting seven years with a man and lose him in the beginning. If, if, if holding a man accountable going to lose him, hold him accountable, and then let him go. Let him go. But so many women are afraid to hold a man accountable because they they think if I hold him accountable, somebody else gonna go, you gonna go get somebody else. Let him go get somebody else. If every woman, if majority of women, if at least eighty percent of women hold these men accountable like that right there, these men will handle no choice but to change, but to get right. Unless they're gonna speak with men. Then you're gonna have two choices. If women will hold their ground and start letting men come in their life and just do what they want to do with them and hold these men accountable, they're gonna have two choices. Go the other way with men or do right by women. If all women had that standard, no banana put into a marriage. No banana put into a marriage. If majority of women had that standard, men ain't gonna have but two choices. Either go the other way with men or change. If majority of women have this mindset, I'd rather die single and die alone before I share a man. These men won't have no choice but to be faithful. If every woman, if majority of women won't sleep with a man knowing he got somebody else, that's why I say men got to be in the shade. Because a woman could know a man in, in a relationship. A woman could know a man married. But she okay with being a side chick. She okay with letting a man be married and still be with her. She okay with letting a man be in a relationship and still be with her. But if majority of women won't allow a man to, to use them as a side chick, these men will change. These men got a man in the shame. Cause you know why? We got a world full of broken women. Society is breaking down the consciousness of women, the queen conscious of a woman. Cause all, all women are queens. But like Pastor Blake say, majority of women are not queen conscious. They don't have a mindset of a queen. They've been broken by society. And I need y'all to help me push these messages to give me a thumbs up. So I can get reach more queens. Cause women need to hear this. Cause when a woman hear this right here, she gonna start watching my videos. Then she gonna get her strength. And then you know what? She gonna get her value. And then she gonna book her session. And then she gonna do the work. And then she gonna change. Then she gonna become queen conscious. But right now the enemy is winning because more people support them than they support men like me. So I need y'all to support this here by sharing this here and give it a thumbs up. And keep telling people about me. Keep telling your friends about me. If you know a woman right now, you got a friend that she's in a relationship right now, she getting dogged out, just see her my videos. I don't care if she get mad, just keep sending her to her. Girl, I'm trying to help you, girl. Just tell you trying to help her. Send her my videos. Hey, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got to get this word out because as long as we got society full of broken women, men ain't gonna never do right by women. Yeah, women cheat on men, but guess what? It's way more on the other side. Way more men cheating on women. If everywhere a man gonna have to share a woman with three other men, that's very, very rare. But it's popular. That women are okay with sharing a man. That's why I say men got to made it in the shade. They straight. They got made it in the shade. Hey, this coach you are. If you need coaching, the link for that is going to be inside the description box. I'm going to link for coaching.
you know, uh, if, if, if you don't know, I am an author of the book called Queen Do Not Settle. Click on that link for the purchase of that book. Queens, know your worth, know your value. If you're a woman watching this video and you with a man and you're not being valued and honored and cherished, book your session. Let's talk, let's connect. Watch a lot of my videos. Purchase my book, Queens Don't Settle. The more, the more queens I can reach, the more stuff will change. Hey, it's Coach Rod signing out. Your number one kidney relationship coach. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.